everybody, get here again. We are at a Goodwill today. Just got here. We can go inside, see if we can find anything good. Let's uh, check it out. All right, guys, found some shirts here. First one, Toulouse Trading Company, $7. Kind of like this plaid, insulated. Found this North Face plaid. This one's $9. And this one I'm not too sure about, but it's like a burn. It's like a flame resistant, seven bucks hoodie. I'm gonna take a shot on that one too. So, picking up all three of these. All right guys, decided to put that hoodie back. Not sure about those, but I found this here. Black Rifle Coffee Company. It's like a hooded, quilted jacket. It's like a camo. $6.99 as well. I think I'll pick this up. I think I saw some comps go for like, maybe like 50 or so. Size large as well, so I think I'll pick it up. All right, guys, I'm back in my car now. Uh, my phone died. What I did show, show you guys was pretty much all I picked up. All I picked up were those three men's shirts, and then I did find a Lululemon pair of pants. Yeah, the, the pants were 10 bucks. I think they're men's. I don't know. There wasn't really a size on there as well, which is kind of tricky. I'm going to have to try and look through like the pockets and see if they have that. Typically, the tag tends to be torn off or fell off or whatever, but then they usually stamp it as well, I think in the pockets, but I'm gonna have to check and see. I'll show you guys everything when I get home, but I also stopped by Marshall's and picked up a Ralph Lauren Oxford shirt, that's a men's, it's brand new with the tags and everything. Uh, that was $30, I think, and I think you can get like 50 to 55 on that. All right, guys, I am back home. This is what I grabbed at Marshall's. This is a Ralph Lauren men's size medium. Classic fit. It's got the pony on the front here with the green jockey. Uh, new with tags. Uh, as you can see here, retail price is $99. And I paid $29 for this. I think I saw some comps for the shirt go for about $50. $50, dollars plus shipping. Not too bad for a $29 purchase. Yeah, make sure to check out your Loco, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, sometimes they can find some good stuff. All right, next are the items that I picked up from Goodwill. I briefly showed you guys these when I was looking at the clothing, but this is the North Face uh, Half Zip uh, Fleece Jacket. Paid $9 for this. This is a men's, men's size medium. It seems to be in good shape. Might be missing this little zipper, like, string. I don't know. Uh, this is like a plaid color. Pretty cool. It seems pretty warm too with the fleece inner lining. 100% polyester. Of course, it is springtime. So not as much demand for these at currently, but I think come fall time, this will probably sell for pretty good amounts. There were some similar comps on these kind of fleeced um, in the last 90 days for roughly about 35 to 40 dollars. So that's kind of like end of the season pricing right now, but. I might just hold off and wait until the fall time or end of summer before I list this and maybe get like 50 or something like that. Yeah, not too bad for a $9 purchase. It's just going to take a while, but most of the clothing items that I picked up today are more of like a fall, wintry clothing, so definitely not something that'll sell quickly at this point, but come fall time, I think it'll do pretty well. Nine bucks into maybe 40 to 50. I will take that. All right, next item, also a size medium men's, is this Duluth Trading Company uh, flannel fleece lined shirt. It's in pretty good shape too, as you can see. I don't see any rips or tears or any stains. Duluth Trading Company tag, size medium, and then I paid $6.99 for this. Uh, so like seven bucks. Some of these can do pretty well actually, especially Duluth Trading Company. A lot of people tend to wear these with the fleece line, so it does keep them warm without putting too many layers on. Pulled up some comps here on my phone and just looking up Duluth Trading Company fleece uh, flannel. Like this one looks exactly like the one that I have that sold. Someone took an offer. This is a size three XL though. Uh, I'm not sure what the offer was, but I'm guessing around probably 40 to 50. Some of the other ones are about 35 as well. 35, 40 bucks. This looks like the same one back in March. Another one that's similar, 35, we're probably looking about 35 to 40 dollars I think. But as you can see here, there's quite a lot sold, recently at least. 
Uh, paid seven bucks for this. Probably looking at about thirty-five to forty, I would say. Probably come fall time, um, this will sell a lot better as well. All right, and the last item that I picked up was this quilted hoodie or jacket. I'm not really sure exactly what to call this. It seems to be a hoodie. It's like this camo color. Pretty cool color. Um, this was seven dollars for this as well as i showed you guys in the store this is the black rifle coffee company some youtubers that i follow actually worked with the company to do some collaboration with them or something like that but um apparently they do have pretty good coffee uh pretty cool design here though for the tag coffee or die interesting take but <laughs> Uh, I've never actually tried their coffee before, but I've heard good things. Paid seven bucks for this. I saw a couple of comps. Maybe forty dollars. We'll see about that. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I picked this one last thing up. Uh, this was a last minute fine, but these were ten dollars, and this is actually a Lululemon pair of pants. I can get it to focus, you can see the logo. I think they're men's, I'm not really sure. I don't know, they put an M here, maybe it's medium, but there's no size tag. It definitely came off, as I mentioned earlier, in the car. Maybe there is a size tag somewhere in the pockets. Okay, I did find something in the pocket here, but I cannot make out what this says. It seems to have faded off or something, but you can see this dot. This was in one of the pockets uh, with Lululemon. They do put the t uh, size on one of the inner pockets. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for something else, but I cannot make out what it says. Yeah, it looks like a medium, but what I'm gonna do is actually when I list them after I clean them and everything, I will do measurements of it and then just go off of that, basically. Assuming it's a medium, I'll just put that in the listing and everything, so. 10 bucks, I think these might go for like 40 to 50 as well. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my haul today. Uh, the rest of the video is actually going to be me going through some of the sales that I've done in the last couple of weeks. I don't sell enough to do like a daily sales, so I just kind of combined everything in the last uh, few weeks uh, just to show you guys what I've sold, maybe something that you want to look out for when you go out thrifting. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest and check out some of the sales that I've already done recently. Hey, everybody, it is a Monday, and I've got another order to pull it is a watch i picked up quite a while ago oh, here it is here's the watch it is a seiko gold watch it's chronographed there are some scratches here and there but the second hand is right here so you can see the seconds are running there uh, i picked this up i believe at a garage sale i think that i spent like three dollars on it at a garage sale it's pretty cheap i took a shot at it but I listed it pretty high, didn't sell, lowered the price, someone sent me an offer, and I just took it. So, I uh, bought it for three and just sold it for $50 plus shipping. Now guys, got another order of pull. It is a pair of shorts. Uh, probably at the bottom somewhere. Alright, found the jeans. These are actually jean shorts, or some people call it jorts. Um, they're old school. Tommy Hilfiger shorts. It's like a size, I don't remember what size it was, like 34, I think, is the waist. But they had these like little like laces at the end of the, the leg opening, so pretty unique design. Um, it's also got like a zipper side pocket. Picked this up at a garage sale over the summer and finally just sold them. Uh, I did price it down a couple times. But managed to accept an offer for $15 plus shipping. I uh, picked this up at a garage sale for $1. Not too bad at all. Uh, not like the hugest profit in dollar amount, but a pretty good percentage on return though. 1 to 15, I will take that any day. Hey guys, got another order to pull. Just sold a pair of shoes. They're actually these shoes right here. These are old New Balance walking shoes. These are the 553 and as you can see here these are in really good condition. These are like almost new, pretty much a brand new, like new condition. Um, there is a little bit of wear but if you just looked at it you would have thought that they were brand new. Pick this up at a garage sale for three dollars. Uh, here is the model number here MW553WN. 
size eight and a half, four E extra wide. So these are very wide shoes for this size. They're in great condition. I've had them for a while since the summer, like I mentioned. Picked them up for three dollars. Finally, just sold them for fifty dollars. Plus shipping. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, and I've got one order to pull. Yep. Right up on top. Here is the item. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a. Under Armour golf polo. It's actually a long sleeve polo. Picked this up at a local thrift shop. Uh, I think I spent like $9 on it. Eight or nine dollars on it. Brand new with the tag still. And just sold it for $40 plus shipping. Morning guys, it's Saturday. And just got one order to pull. Here are the shoes. These are a pair of Brooks uh, Ghost 12. Pretty small size, I think it's a size seven, seven and a half. Uh, I think I picked these up at a Goodwill probably a few months ago. They're in really good shape actually, like there's still plenty of tread left on the bottom. Uppers look to be in great shape. I think I spent like seven or eight dollars on these and just sold it for fifty dollars. Plus shipping. I just sold this phone right here. It is a Con Air Corporation phone, model SW205. This is a cool vintage, like 90s clear phone. Uh, I did test this out at my parents' place who still has a landline, so it was great to hook it up and find out that it still works. Called it, it does ring. Uh, the buttons light up as well. Oh, I can't show you now, but they do light up. Still got the original paperwork on here in really good condition. It was really dusty when I first bought it, but cleaned it up pretty nicely. Everything was functional. Very cool design, like I mentioned. Uh, I picked this up at a Salvation Army probably a couple months ago. Spent $5 on this and just sold it for $60 plus shipping. Crazy how much these phones go for considering rarely does anybody have a landline still people do want this just for like a display piece i think it is pretty cool but getting 60 bucks for this i will take that for sure you guys got an order to pull it's actually on the floor here which are these right here these are the triple red uh air force ones pick them up uh at i think it was a goodwill I think I paid $15 for these at the Goodwill. Just sold them for $82 plus shipping. Pretty good shape, pretty good sale. Not bad at all. All right, one item to pull, it is this clock. This is a one of those bird chirping clocks where anytime it's a new hour, a new bird will make a noise. So we got the great horned owl, mockingbird, Chickadee, Cardinal, Woodpecker, Canada Goose, House Wren, American Robin, The Sparrow, Kingfisher, The Titmouse, and The Orioles. Found this at a Goodwill, I think? I don't remember, actually. No, not a Goodwill. My local thrift shop, the Ark Thrift Store. Paid four bucks for it. Tested it out put in all the batteries, everything is fully operational. Just sold it for $30 plus shipping. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. It is a little bit larger, but I think it'll fit into uh, one of the priority mailboxes and should be good to go. Hey guys, it's Monday afternoon and we've got one order to pull. Found the shoes, they are these kids DC shoes. It's like this rainbow color, pretty unique, kind of cool looking shoe. I thought it'd be worth more, but uh, it turns out it's not too much in demand, but I was excited to get rid of them. Also, there is some damage on the shoe here. Part of it's kind of peeling, which I did indicate in my listing, but the shoe itself is still in good shape. Plenty of tread left on the bottom. Uh, these are kids size four, and picked these up a few months ago for like $4, and just sold them for $12, plus shipping. We got another order. Didn't even put it away yet. It sold so quickly. Just listed this uh, a few days ago. It is this Under Armour pullover. 
it's like a lightweight pullover, older tag, size medium, but it's in great condition. No stains, rips, or anything really. Picked this up at the logo chap thrift store that I have here and uh, picked it up for only $3.50. Just sold it for $25 plus shipping. So not a bad deal at all. Hey everybody, it is Thursday morning and just got an order. This is a Funko Pop Kid Loki number 900 here. Uh, I actually picked this up at a Walgreens back in November. Um, they had a huge discount on these. I had two of these, one dollar each, and sold the other one for ten dollars, and just sold this one for full asking price of thirteen dollars plus shipping. Got another order to pull, and it's actually this right here. I already have it on the table. This is Thomas the Tank Engine. Hooray for Thomas and other adventures. Sealed DVD. Pick this up at a Goodwill. It also comes with this wooden train. Pretty unique, I guess. Can be a hot item, plus it's new in the packaging. Like I said, I picked it up at Goodwill for $2. That's the price of DVDs at the Goodwill that I go to. And just sold this for $30, because uh, it's gonna go media mail. Um, which will probably cost three bucks, so I might have done free shipping there. Picked it up for two bucks and sold it for 30. Oh, also, forgot to mention that I do have an Instagram page strictly for my Thrifting Tiger YouTube channel as well. I'll have a link down below to my Instagram page at Thrifting Tiger on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting a lot more photos on there, sometimes maybe some videos. Um, when I'm out thrifting at like Goodwill or Savers or even a yard sale. Um, just showing you guys some of the stuff that I picked up so that I don't have a full video of things because um, it's kind of hard to make a full video on things when I pick up one or two things only uh, per day or something like that so it does get a little bit tricky but uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well so I can show you some of the some of the items that I've picked up that could be of some value or something that you might want to look out for yourself. All right, so that's all the sales. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It might have been a little bit of a, on the longer end, but uh, hopefully you guys you still enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you enjoy thrifting content like this. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you get notified of when my next video comes out. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on my next thrifting adventure. Bye.